Okay, so yep, I have this picture open again, and the basics video went over all the different little control thingies. Um, so now I'm going to show you a little bit more color altering fun stuff. So I always duplicate another layer because of how it alters the layer specifically and doesn't make a layer that changes everything, like on Photoshop, it's kind of hard to explain. But, so always make a duplicate duplicate layer, because otherwise you can't really undo something if you want to go back and undo it. Um, so then, everything I tend to use is under the Colors tab. So there's color balance, so if your color, or if your picture is balanced, um, you can select which range of colors, so like I can make the highlights more yellow, the shadows more blue, and it just kind of tweaks the colors a little bit. I like playing with the colors on this one some. Um, it's not completely my favorite, but, you know, it's there. There's presets at the top, so you can change, like, oh look, I did this one on the that day. And so then it pick, it shows you what you did. Um, the colors, you can also, once you set it, you can hit the plus button and pick a name for it, and then it'll be in the presets under that name. And then there's hue saturation. If you hit master, you can change the hues all over in general. Um, it's really cool. Sometimes, other times it's kind of creepy. Um, you can change the lightness and the saturation, so you can make it like completely desaturated. Um, you can also pick the specific colors. So you could make specific colors more saturated, but it's all screwed up because of the master one. So I'll reset that. And then so you could like make the reds way more saturated and make the blues pretty much go away. Um, so it just makes the colors stand out a lot more. But then you have to be careful because then there's all the extra red spots like on my skin because the red's extra saturated. So it happens all over the place, which then you can erase that out or whatever you want to do. But just have to be careful with that. Then there's color eyes, which makes the entire image one color. And all of these things have the presets, and then you can make presets, and it saves the ones from specific dates, or from each date. And if you have multiple for a date, it doesn't show on here, but it'll be like 1229 number 1, 1229 number 2, and so on and so forth. Um, so you can change what color it does, you can change how saturated the color is, so you can make it almost desaturated with just a slight tint, or you can make it completely whatever color you choose, and you can pick how light it is, so it could be really dark, or it could be really light, whatever you want. Um, then there's brightness and contrast. I don't really play with the contrast on this so much just because it seems kind of really finicky to me. Um, so there's brightness and contrast that just kind of can play around with if you want. And there's the presets again. Um, there's th which makes kind of interesting pop art pictures. You can move the sliders around. So it picks what is white and what's what is black based on what you pick so it's kind of interesting pop art ish fun to play with there's levels which is great. um it shows the histogram and so you can make the the um completely black black completely black and completely white go to the completely white side so that it makes the whites whites and the black blacks um you can also like overexpose make it look overexposed in here and you can change the midtones. Um, you can also, that's the input levels on the output, you can make the darks more gray and the lights more gray. Um, that's kind of like recovery on Photoshop and RAW actually for the advanced photo kits that you know. Um, so there's that, and I'm actually going to, and so you can see how when you toggle on and on, there's the difference between the two layers. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, my throat is slightly sore. Um, and then there's curves. This is 
fun. Really fun. There's the presets, of course, and then there's the value. So there's, it's all the colors. It's RGB together. So if you make an S curve, it makes it more contrasty. If you do the opposite, it makes it less contrasty. You can hit reset channel at any time, and it resets that one. Um, so like that one, I was on RGB well value, so it reset that one. But if you put it on red, and you do something, you can put it on green and do something, and blue. I don't know what I just did. Just kind of poking random things, and then you can go back to the value and alter things. Um, there's the presets again. I'll just kind of pick one and show you how it presets it. Like, cool. Um, you can also do freehand, so you can just kind of draw it randomly. That's a lot harder because it does things like that. I mean, it's cool for graphically wise, but it's really annoying if you're trying to get just like kind of straight curve. It doesn't go perfect. Like if you use smooth, it um, and you can just smoothly does it. Um, so that's good if you're gonna use bleach pipe bypass or whatever. Posterize is it reduces it to a specific number of colors. So this one has three colors in it. You can have it make it have 19 colors in it, and it looks closer to real. It just has some funky spots. And then there's desaturate, which desaturates it but there's three ways that you can pick you can pick via lightness you can pick luminosity which they're all slightly different like this one makes the dark spots darker and then you can pick average which makes so you can just pick whichever one works best and then you can play with the levels and the curves and dodging and burning to make it better pretty much um, you can do fun things if you make sure it has an alpha channel it's not bolded and then you pick the eraser and then you could erase away actually I don't want the different one you could erase away the black and white on my lips and so then there's one thing that's in color and it's my lips so you can do cool things like that really easily um, you could just kind of select random stuff to let be colored. Um, yeah. So that's that. Then there's also, I'll make that go away so it's not distracting. There's also the filters. So filters, there's blurs, you can use, you can select how much to blur. I like the Gaussian blur the best. Um, motion blurs tend to take a little while. And so you can just kind of play around with all of these. You can add light effects, like lens flares and stuff. Um, they don't look completely real, but if you don't have one, it works. And you want one. Um, so there's lots of different things you can do like that. Um, if you want to create a border, you can start with the image like this, and then you can do image, um, canvas size, and then you can make the canvas size bigger, so you could say, like, 4,000, and then make sure this little thingy is linked so it keeps them the same, that's actually very little difference. So we'll go bigger and then hit center. So it puts the picture that we have in the center and say resize. So then it makes a transparent layer that's that size. And then if you make a new layer, it doesn't make a transparent layer, it just makes it transparent. You have to make a new layer that is transparent. You could fill it with white. And so that's gonna fill the entire layer. And then once it fills, in a second, perhaps a decade, however long it wants to take. Okay, 
Then you can select the layer and move it down so then it's floating on a white border, completely centered. Um, you can move move it a little bit, like make it move up and so there's a little bit of like room to sign at the bottom or whatever you want to do. Um, yep. If you have multiple layers, like say I just have like six of these, and they're they're all slightly different, so it's like composited together. You can say image merge visible layers and just leave it on the one that it comes up on. And then they all merge into one layer. So instead of a bunch of separate things, it's one. Um, and you can make some of them not appear and then do merge visible layers and it'll only merge the ones that you can see which is fun to play around with for different manipulations and stuff um, I think that's it okay adios